uh, well, as you know, these games were supposed to be held in 2021, but because of the COVID situation, they had to be postponed for 2022. And now, uh, we also, because we had to do coordination commission visits, they were also postponed, but finally this September we managed to visit Banska Bistrica. And I have to say, it's a very picturesque, nice town surrounded by mountains and the organization is going very well. It's, the, the facilities are almost ready and now the local organizing committee, they're putting the finishing touches. So, I mean, I'm sure, you know, in July when the games begin, all the participants of the games will really enjoy these games. Uh, well, as you know, when we had the OSA program here in Baku in 2019, 49 schools in uh, Azerbaijan participated in this program. And altogether in Europe, over 100, approximately 100,000 students participated in this program. Uh, also, during the program, when I had it in Baku, two schools from other countries came to participate here. They were from Georgia and actually from Slovakia the gymnasium Pierre de Coubertin. So we're very thankful you know, to, the, for the, to the Slovakian Olympic Committee for their cooperation in this program and the fact that now in Banska Bistrica they will also continue with this legacy of OSEP and that also we're hoping that the school that partnered with the school in Slovakia from Baku will also visit the Banska Bistrica games and will also participate in those games. Of course, I want to wish you know happiness, health, prosperity for the new year, and also you know just want to say that you know projects like OSEP, you know projects which promote intercultural intercultural exchange amongst countries, they're only you know beneficial for global Olympic solidarity. So I hope projects like this can go from strength to strength. <laughs>